I've gone a lot more than I thought I would already. <laughs> Entering my shopping era, I guess. I'm about to drop. I'm taking a break. Oh, I'm so tired. Hot girls wear jammies. Everyone say G-string on three. Hello, Mrs. Vlog. It is Black Motherforking Friday. Welcome to the vlog. I'm headed to the Glendale Galleria right now, mainly because I really wanna go to the Amazon Style Store again because I'm literally obsessed with it. I'm really excited. I'm actually meeting Alicia there. I feel like I need more just like basics in my wardrobe, so that's something I'm definitely looking for. I also am just looking for damn good deal. I mean, who isn't on Black Friday? Let's go. To the mall, baby! Look out, I'm coming through Like a wrecking ball Going through the room I break out Like I was born to do Couldn't stop it if I wanted to Real good Now I'm feeling Real talk I break the ceiling Real soon I'll be swimming You can find me in the deep end How are you doing? Good Long. I'm gonna do a quick lap and yeah, get in long. line, so take your time. Oh, okay. But slide. a lot more than I thought I would already. So that's a huge sleigh. And now we're heading to my favorite, the Amazon Style Store. I'm excited, I've never been in it. I know, I've never been it being built. Really. Yeah, and Alicia and I walked past it last year. She was like, you should film a TikTok of that. That'll be cool. Now full circle, we're working with them. Hell yeah! friends and then we wanted to see Alicia too so here she is getting tired can't stop won't stop <laughs> it is crowded. so busy so crowded Kelly King loves this store hell yeah we're in Bath and Body Works it is very potent in here but I'm excited because I'm gonna get my motherfucking candles because y'all know I'm a hoe for a candle guys don't get the peppermint hot chocolate it smells like peppermint farts <laughs> Smell it, smell no. it. Yes. You, can, you cannot preface it that way smell and then tell me to smell it. I need you to smell they it. They made their lids thinner. You need to smell it. <laughs> it's Negative. not that bad. It's that. Smell it. Oh. <laughs> it's bad, I, I also right? don't like chocolate and mint. If I'm being so honest, getting a little tired, but I am having a blast. This is the first time I've like fully shopped till I've dropped. Like I've, I don't think I've ever like purchased this much in like one shopping trip. Like. Y'all know I'm not really a shopper, but lately I've just been entering my shopping era, I guess. Anyway, I just met the cutest little girlies right outside of Victoria's Secret, and you know who you are. Shout out. Just made my day. So yeah, learning from the GOAT, learning from the OG, Miss Alicia Marie, on how to Black Friday shop. Because no one knows how to shop better than that girl. Guys, Alicia left me. And oh, she I bought, did, did. she got me got a Bath and Body Works gift card. Yeah, here's the story. I go to check out, I grab your stuff. I'm like, hey. You and I'm outside with the rest of our bags with everything else will be easier. So I go to pay and then she's, she's bringing up TK's basket and she goes, oh, how much do you want on the gift card? So I'm like, fuck, shit. Like, I don't know. What is she? I, oh my God, I should call you. And then I was like, I probably have no signal. And I was like, you're probably not gonna see it. And I was like, uh, 20? No, that sounds too low. And I was like, but I don't wanna do 50. That's way too fucking high. Yeah. So I was like, 25? I don't know. And um, I just hope whoever gets that enjoys it. She literally comes outside and goes, oh my God, I didn't know you wanted the gift card. I got 25 on it. Like, I hope that's okay. I'm like, gift card? I don't want a gift she card. even want the gift card. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Apparently there's a gift card in there and someone's getting that for their Christmas present. Alicia's paying currently. What'd you get? You got a bit. I needed new foundation, and then recently Eric used the Huda foundation on me, and it was Ooh. like amazing. Huda has amazing red lip, liquid lipstick. Oh yes. Yeah. Nordstrom? Nordies. And then I think I'm good. Me too. I'm taking a break. I'm in the boyfriend chair right now. I feel like I'm Alicia's boyfriend, and I'm waiting for her to finish shopping. I feel like I'm just shopped out. 
The one thing that I've learned to love about shopping though is that I'm getting my mother fucking steps in. So no one can say I'm not putting in the work, okay? When I'm online shopping, I'm just sitting on my ass, horizontal, the entire time. Okay. I feel like if I didn't have all these bags, I would be yeah. survivor, survivor. We can, we can I can't speak about all the bags. arrived at home. We went to Aritzia first. I'm not a frequent at Aritzia. I know like all the girlies love it. All you guys love it. I just feel like I have a hard time shopping in there because it's not like the fun place to shop sometimes because it's like so basic and it's almost like so not my style but like I understand that my wardrobe like as it's evolving like my closet just needs more staples so apparently I'm becoming an Aritzia girly. I will say the packaging is stunning. This is so fun. This feels like vlogmas and it's kind of scaring me. Everything I got from Aritzia is kind of boring so keep watching. This is like a hoodie zip up Heather Gray. I mean is there anything better than like Aritzia sweats? They're so comfy. Normally I'm not a gray girly but I love the Heather Gray like how it's almost white and I just know I'm gonna wear the fork out of this. This is the next thing I got. It's just a black long sleeve kind of a deeper V shirt. It feels thick. It feels luxe. It feels form fitting. It feels like it's going to be a good date night top for me. Something that I know I will be confident in. A little bit of cleavage, but still classy. I just feel like I'm going to wear it a lot more than I think. And it is cropped at the perfect height, I feel. Like right over my belly button. I need to start acting and dressing like my own age. Like I don't need to be having my stomach out at like every function now. We can be hot and kind of conservative at the same time. Does that make sense? Next thing, another basic. You know what drew me to this is that it looks like the Lululemon Align tank that I'm just like an absolute slut for. And if I can wear this on a date just anywhere at any time, I just feel like it's, I'm gonna wear it all the time. Again, boring, plain white tee. It's ribbed though. Achoo! Excuse me. Okay, and other stories. This is the bag. I don't think I've ever purchased anything from And Other Stories. It was always one of those stores that I would like see or walk by or window shop in. It always just was like too expensive for me. Like I was just like, I didn't think it was worth it. But now as, as I'm getting older and one, I'm just like making my own money, but Two, I just feel like I would rather invest in like one nice thing than like get eight things from a store. Like I used to shop and like buy like 12 things from Forever 21 and it's just like not my vibe anymore. I'm trying to like buy staples, buy good pieces that are a little bit more expensive but will last me a long time. I'm in my sweater era. It's this gorgeous quarter zip pink chunky knit. I mean, is this not the cutest effing pink thing you've ever seen? My nails, are you kidding? I am just absolutely obsessed. It's chunky, it has the vertical lines on it. Feel like I look like a wife with this, and I look like mom. Hot mom with a blue jean, oh, love it. Love pink. I went to Victoria's Secret. I mean, I feel like you just have to go to Victoria's Secret on Black Friday, it's just like literally a requirement. Got enough to get the damn toe bag. I ended up getting these juicy PJs, which I almost bought the other day on the line. I now have my Skims PJs, which I love and they're black and they're amazing. But like every once in a while they need to go to the wash. And when they go to the wash, it's like, okay, I could resort back to my frat t-shirts, but it's like, I need to grow the fork up, okay? This Black Friday haul is about growing the fork up. Like I need a matching pajama set. So I thought this would be really cute. And this is just like more me anyway than the Skims ones. The Skims ones are so forky and comfy, but I want them in like a fun color. like. This is fun. It's like flannel, pink, red, navy, so forking cute. I think I want to get my mom the same one so we can wear the same on Christmas Eve. If you don't buy jammies from Victoria's Secret, what the fork are you doing? Get your forking ass up and go to Victoria's Secret and get a matching pajama set. Jammies, okay? Hot girls wear jammies. I got this bra. This is where men wish they could put their face. It's this like sexy black lace bra. I borrowed my friend Angie's bra when we were in Croatia and it looks something similar to this. I don't think this is the same one, but it was hot. It made me feel good. It perked the girls up. It just was like so forking fabulous and comfy. And you know when you borrow someone's shit and you're like, I need this. I've been thinking about this bra ever since July, okay? So I pulled the plug on it. Everyone say titties on three. One, two, three, titties. Bath and mother forking body works. Obviously, you know from the vlog earlier that Alicia accidentally got me a gift card because apparently this was in the um, 
This is in my bag. I got a fresh balsam soap, which I'm so excited about. Oh, the Christmas, like, balsam scent is so good. It was buy three, get three free. So I went a little overboard with the uh, hand sanitizers. I just feel like I like being that girl that comes in clutch. You know, when you're at a movie theater, you've had a little too much popcorn, grease all over your hands. Like I wanna be the girl that comes in clutch with this. Then from Bath and Body Works, we did the buy three, get three free candles, but she got three and I got three. Fresh balsam candle, obviously. Holy shit. <laughs> So good. Oh my god, just bury me in that side, goddamn. Flannel. Honestly, this is so forking chewy. I like hate the packaging. But whatever, it smells good, okay? I can deal with this, right? This is just like it's too much. This is personally my favorite. Like plain Jane, classy. Linen and lavender. Oh, it's so good. Oh, Sephora. I'm actually really happy about this. I ended up getting the Dior backstage blush, which like everyone and their mother on TikTok acts like saves lives is stunning it really is so pretty let's see if i can put any can you even tell the difference that's cute it's such a pretty pink cute i look like a doll now i probably look crazy it's it feels really nice. I also wanted to show you because I made an order on Skims last week and they basically had all of this shit in Nordstrom at the mall that I went to today. First thing I got is this cute little bralette thing. I got it in a size medium, adorbs. I just feel like it's, it's such a nice fabric. One of my best friends, Libby, said she got it and loves it, so slay. I am like a big fan. Like I know I just bought that bra from Victoria's Secret, but like I'm normally wearing these things and I feel like the ones that I have are like just old and dinky. Then I got a for real bra from Skims because again, my bras are just need to go in the trash. This feels so freaking good. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. This is a fabulous bra. Like the fabric is insane. Next thing, I'm actually obsessed with the hot pink shit. Kenzie Elizabeth like made me obsessed and Libby made me obsessed. I just got this hot pink tee, like this tucked into a jean or like black leather pants, hot. Kim would never steer me wrong. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with anything that woman makes. Had to get a thong. This is just, their like fits everybody thong, I think. I got a medium. See how it like goes high rise on the leg? I feel like it's gonna be so flattering. It's literally so stretchy. Like, bro, what? Then I got it also in a black sleigh. I also got this micro Kendall Jenner thong simply because I wanted to try it on. I mean, this obviously has to be hot, but I'm like, well, this. I don't know how that's gonna cover everything, but G-string check. Everyone say G-string on three. One, two, three. G-string. I got this tank top that a few of my friends have, specifically one of my friends, Angie, has the one with the bra. Yeah, she also has this tank top and it looks really good on her, so I really wanted to try it. It's a great length and I just love a rib. Skims is just so good. Okay, I need to go watch Housewives immediately and be horizontal, so I love y'all so much. And by the way, I know it was just Thanksgiving. I just wanted to say I'm thankful for you guys, not to get all cheesy, but I really am. My life, well, look my freaking cheeks right now from this blush. My life changed because of you guys, and I don't go a day without being grateful for my job, and you know, my community and being able to make videos about whatever the fork I want is a huge privilege that I will never take for granted. And I'm just really, really, really thankful and grateful for you guys. And I have the best job in the world. I'm doing literally what I dreamed of doing. So thank you for watching my stuff. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you for sticking with me. And I hope you're really excited for December because Vlogmas is about to be Litty titty. Can't wait to bring you guys along. I also am planning on doing quite a few giveaways during the month of Vlogmas. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel and my Instagram and my TikTok and add me as a friend on Snapchat because I've been posting on there a lot lately. And I'm just so grateful for you guys. I just wanted to reiterate that. So comment down below something you are thankful for and I will see you in a jiffy. You can go back into the dishwasher now, you dirty forkers. I love you. Make someone stay this week. Peace. Oh, also, listen to my podcast, Making Moves. Link in description. Love you. I'm making moves, making moves, making moves. I'm making moves, making moves.